Pascal Yossi is often to be found traveling between Cape Kennedy, Moscow, and Payerne in the French-speaking canton of Vaux. As a child, he dreamt he would one day become an astronaut. Pursuing his ambition, in 2013, the young engineer founded the company Swiss Space Systems to build a homegrown version of NASA's space shuttle to fly into orbit. The adventures of Tintin were an inspiration. Ça a commencé beaucoup avec justement j'ai la chance qu'on m'a offert une. It all started when I received as a present a rocket from The Adventures of Tintin. It still stands on my desk as a reminder of my dream of building a rocket to send into space. L'envie de fabriquer des fusées, de pouvoir aller dans l'espace. Yossi is working today from his office on the airfield of Payerne. There, nearly 80 engineers work on his idea of building a low-cost spacecraft that initially would bring commercial satellites into space and in a second phase be manned. The spacecraft would launch from a passenger plane. As the animation shows, the spacecraft, once operational, would disconnect from a plane once it reaches an altitude of 10,000 meters. The shuttle would then fly out of the Earth's orbit using its own engines. Once there, the shuttle would release the satellite, which in turn would position itself with its own propulsion system. The commercial viability of Pascal Yossi's company is based on the fact that it doesn't want to develop any new space technology. Instead, it would use components currently available from countries such as the United States, Russia and France. These would then be assembled in Switzerland. It's like playing with a building block game. We're trying to integrate all the best technologies which have been developed in other countries and whose reliability has been field tested in other applications. What we're doing is assembling these components together in Switzerland. Here we can have access to these sensitive technical solutions and we are able to make them work together. For example, we can complement a Russian technology with other systems from the United States or Europe. For political reasons, American companies, for instance, wouldn't provide their technology directly to a Russian company like the one near Moscow, where Yossi is having the engines of his shuttle built. On the other hand, in neutral Switzerland, technologies from different countries can be combined, overcoming these kinds of problems. At these facilities, the same engines are being tested that powered the Soyuz of the Russian space program. While in France, the aircraft manufacturer Dassault already building unmanned combat drones, will be responsible for the Swiss shuttle's aerodynamics. Back in Switzerland, on the airfield in Payerne, that's where Yossi would like to build the Swiss spaceport. The 70 million franc project has been planned, and it's now waiting for building permits. Outside of Switzerland, a spaceport is also planned to be built in an uninhabited location on the coast of Croatia. In Zagreb at the beginning of the year, the project was presented to the public. With no previous track record, how does Yossi expect to make it against the competition? We managed to be competitive thanks to the enormous expertise that our partners bring to the table and by comprising systems that are already well tested. Images from Canada show how the electronics of the shuttle, enclosed in a black box, are being tested while flying. Pascal Yossi's dream is taking shape one component at a time. The first test flights are planned for as early as 2018.